Hello everyone! Today I will teach you how to convert numbers in different bases very fast. We'll start off by learning how to convert other bases to base 10. Let's try an example. Convert 23 base 8 to base 10. We start off by looking at the first digit. For each digit, we multiply the digit by the base to the power of however many digits are in front of it. So for the digit 2, we have 2 times 8 to the power of 1, since there is only one digit before the 2. For the digit 3, we have 3 times 8 to the power of 0, since there are no digits in front of the 3. Summing these values, we get 2 times 8 plus 3 times 1, which is equal to 16 plus 3, which is equal to 19. Let's try a harder example. 143 base 6 to base 10. For the digit 1, we have 1 times 6 squared, since there are 2 digits. For the digit 4, we have 4 times 6 to the 1, since there is only one digit in front of it. For the digit 3, we have 3 times 6 to the power of 0, since there are no digits in front of it. Summing, we get 1 times 36 plus 4 times 6 plus 3 times 1, which is equal to 36 plus 24 plus 3, which is equal to 63. When doing base conversion, we often encounter values greater than 9. We can also represent these as digits. 10 is A, 11 is B, 12 is C, 13 is D, 14 is E, and 15 now is Now we'll F. learn the opposite, how to convert base 10 to other bases. Convert 143 to base 7. We start off by finding the remainder when our number is divided by the base. The remainder in our case is 3, so we subtract that from our original number to get 140. We then add this remainder to the very end of our final answer. With our number 140, we then divide by the base, which is 7, to get 20. With this number, we then repeat the process. So we subtract by 6 to get 14, we add the 6 to the end of our number, and then we divide by 7 to get 2, and since this value is less than 7, we just add it to the beginning of our number. Convert 154 to base 12. Since 154 has a remainder of 10 when divided by 12, we subtract that off to get 144. And if you recall earlier, 10 is represented by A, so we add that to the end of our number. Then we divide by 12 to get a value of 12. And since 12 has a remainder of 0 when divided by 12, we subtract that off and get 12. And then we add a 0 to the beginning of our number. Then we divide by 12 to get 1. And since 1 is less than 12, we just add it to the beginning of our number. Finally, we will learn how to convert numbers between two bases that are both not 10. Let's try an example. 162 base 7 to base 8. First, we convert 162 base 7 to base 10. We get a value of 93. Then we convert 93 base 10 to base 8 to get a value of 135 base 8. There are, however, some shortcuts to doing this. In order for this trick to work, one of the bases must be a power of the other. Let's try an example. Convert 110101 base 2 to base 8. First, we note that 2 to 3 is equal to 8, so we must look for groups of 3 digits in our number. We can split our number up into two groups. Our first group is 110, so 1110 base 2 is equal to 6. Our second group is 101 base 2. 101 base 2 is equal to 5. So now what we must do is we must put our two digits together to get our final answer of 65 base 8. If your groups aren't all the same size, make sure the first group is the one with fewer elements. Convert 27 base 9 to base 3. First, note that 3 squared equals 9, and since we're converting from a larger to smaller base, we must convert each digit into two digits. 2 is equal to 0, 2, base 3, and since we must convert it into a block of two digits, we add the 0 in the beginning. Now we know that 7 is equal to 2, 1, base 3. Putting these two together, we get the final answer of 221, base 3. Try this problem yourself. Convert 1, 2, 0, 3, 2, base 4 to base 8. After you've given this problem a shot, Look at the solution in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot from it. Please make sure to like and subscribe.